Still available through the Liberty Gospel Church bookshops and its website. On the 3rd of July, a few weeks before the anti-witchcraft conference was disrupted by supporters of Helmut Pabio, five men turned up at Kran. Originally, they claimed they were there to make a donation. They were accompanied by Mrs. Ogpabio's lawyer. In fact, they were the police and were looking for Sam Itawuma, Kran's director. I saw a very tall man walk towards me to my kitchen, asking me, who are you? Where is that man, Sam? I said, oh, what happened? Who are you? What do you want? He said, shut up, woman. Are you not Elizabeth? Are you not a nurse? I said, ah, oh, yes, am I? He said, okay, you are under arrest. Sam suspected something was wrong and barricaded himself in the office. I had to call the direct, the division police officer. Um, who now told me that um, he's not aware of policemen who have come to the centre. Um, so I now knew that the, those guys were, were on a, they have come to, to, to maybe to kill me. They bring out some pistol. They show to me. If you think we are not serious, we are serious. If you are not serious, we are going to shoot you right now. I broke the ceiling from here. I got in from inside the roof. Then I, I got to the room at the extreme end, the other side. Then I hit the ceiling the second time. I jump in. I had to jump from the window here, coming out. And this is where I, I entered the bush. Destroyed the door and they found no Sam inside. I was like, oh, thank God. Some of the children decided to intervene. And it's alleged that two were knocked unconscious and had to be hospitalized. One was Indoneset Akpan, age 12. Police beat me, take stick and beat me. The post come out in my ear, I faint. They took me down to police station and then throw me inside the cell. I cannot talk, I cannot eat since, since last week, I cannot eat. It's okay, don't worry. Okay. Seven days before the armed plainclothes officers raided Kran, Mrs. Okpabio submitted a formal written complaint to the police. In it, she accused Sam and asked the police to investigate. She claimed they were involved in using a clip from her film, End of the Wicked, in the dispatcher's original documentary to elicit donations found by the side of the road when he first returned to Aqua Ibom. She'd been abandoned by her family, who thinks she's a witch. Together with co-worker Lucky, he goes in search of her father. We are not here to arrest you. We are here to talk to you about the total, which I know you've had the information already. <laughs> he believes the child is a witch. He said it wasn't from the church, but all of a sudden they started, the villagers started accusing the child. They accused the girl of eating up the stepmother's clothes, you know, and, and stuff like that. As far as that belief is there. When I see a girl like this so thin, I think to myself, how can any human being treat another human being like this? It's as if you've been trying to kill her by not giving her food. You understand? And for me, I think this is very terrible. I met a man before, and now I don't have anything to do eh, to maintain her. That's the reason. If you don't feed her for one more week, she will die. Not like you, you're okay. She is starving, she's so malnourished, she will die. And then is that not murder? If you had more money, would you care for her? They went down, okay? Come on, we are going to work with you now. <laughs> and um, this is what we are going to do. Anybody that calls your child a witch, even your wife, will be prosecuted. Ten years imprisonment. So if you call a child, any of you, if you call a child a witch, you go to prison for 10 years. You understand? 
Gary decides to give the man a loan to buy new nets and an anchor for his boat, provided he agrees to take his daughter back. Nigeria, I will no longer regard my daughter as a witch. I will take care of her with the income I make from my fishing business. So he has written his name. He has very good handwriting. Okay, and signed. Wonderful. Well done. If I return in one week's time or any time in the future and I ask Afyong if anybody has called her witch, <laughs> yeah? I will spend and the police down here and whoever she tells me has called her a witch will go to prison for 10 years. I thought, you know, if some point in my lifetime this, this belief in abuse stops, then maybe five to 10 years, we can put an end to it. So on that level, uh, I'm quite optimistic, definitely. And the children are so happy to be part of this uh, swimming expedition. As you can see, they are so happy. For most of them, it's the first time to ever have even seen the sea, never mind go up and go and swim in it. They're having lots of fun and it's good to see, that's the main thing.